Today in this video, I'm going to show you six tips that can help you with all of your Google Home devices. Hey smart home enthusiast, I'm Kyle Wright and I'm your smart home butler. If you want to be empowered, educated, and informed about smart home technology, go ahead and take a moment, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you can get notifications about future videos. So my first tip for Google Home devices is the remember function. This is great for if you need to remember where you've put something. For instance, not too long ago, I asked Google to remember that I had put the passports for our vacation in our nightstand. So then, later in a couple of weeks, when I need to remember where my passports are, I can just ask Google by saying, hey Google, where is my passport? And she will very kindly say that she remembers you telling her that they are in the nightstand. So, it's a really awesome feature if you're really bad about forgetting where things are. My second really cool trick that you can use with Google Home is you can actually use Google Home to call phone numbers. Whether that be you're looking for the nearest pizza place to order food from, or you want to call your grandmother. You can set up contacts with Google Contacts and even call numbers from Google Maps using your Google device. I think this is a really awesome feature so you don't always have to pull out your cell phone. My third tip is that you can say multiple commands in the same sentence and Google will follow those. So let's say you want to turn off the living room lights and turn on the kitchen lamp, then you can say that in the same phrase by saying, hey Google, turn off the living room lights and turn on the kitchen lamp. And she will do both actions in the same sentence. So you don't have to continuously say, hey Google, for every single command. My fourth tip is the broadcast feature. This is a really awesome feature. Say if you're making dinner and you want to let the entire family know that dinner is ready, you can have Google broadcast it to your home and then your statement that you give to Google will be played on all of your Google Home devices in your house. This is really great, like I said, for when you're making dinner or you need to tell one of your kids they need to come down and do their chores. So this is a really great feature to have. My fifth tip for using the Google Home devices is the routines feature. I absolutely love routines. I have routines that I use in the morning that will let me know the weather and what my commute to work is going to be like. I have routines in the evening that make sure that all of my lights in my home are turned off. My fifth tip for the Google Home devices is the routines feature. This is a really awesome feature that I use in the morning when I'm getting ready for work to have Google tell me the daily news and what my commute's gonna look like and whether or not I'm gonna need a raincoat that day. Or in the evening, I use routines to make sure that all of my smart lights in my home are turned off so that I'm conserving energy. You can also use routines to control things like your thermostats, your cameras, really anything that you can add in Google Home and there is a statement that you can give to Google, you can set up different times and places that those commands and routines are run. So this is a really great feature for automating your home. And then my sixth and probably most favorite feature is that the Google Home devices have a voice match technology. So this means that when I'm talking to Google, she knows to give me my events, my calendars, my news preferences, and then if my wife is talking to the Google Home, then Google Home knows to give her her calendar events and her news preferences. Because we are two different people, we like to know different things about what's going on in the world. Uh, Google is able to uh, set those preferences up 
even down to the fact that Google knows where both of us work. And so she can give us curated and personalized traffic information for us getting to our place of work based on us saying the you know what is traffic like today statement so the voice match feature is really awesome so question for this video let me know in the comments below what features do you wish the google home devices had for you to use i'm really curious to see where home automation is going to go. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this content helpful, take a minute, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell so you can get more updates for future videos from Right Near Home. And I hope to see you next time. Keep automating.